Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. I had some complaints about the small bit I used on my demo drill, but uh, not much bigger. I only got a three quarter on here, which still, for most people, probably a decent sized drill bit, although it's plenty small for a drill that can handle four inch. But uh, I don't have the power for it right now, so I'm uh, going to drill this plate that goes on the side down here. I'm going to put it on as a brace. It's uh, one inch by 12, and it's five foot long, so it's like a little over 200 pounds. So uh, pieces like this are not the most fun to move around because they are fairly heavy. So this is a good use for a machine like this because you can put the workpiece stationary and you can move the head around to do all your drilling work. So I've just got the, a partial lock on the column just enough to hold it from walking off. Normally you would lock and unlock it here, but I don't have enough power to operate those controls either right now, so we're doing it the manual way. But this is still a lot faster than drilling these by hand. So I'm gonna fire the drill up and I'll punch these holes in here. Just like that, we've got uh, 10 holes, three quarter plate, single punch. I found that at 10,000 speed rate, it was breaking the chip. I didn't have to keep backing off, just go right on through. And uh, got a nice clean looking hole. Let's check out the spiral point. And despite the fact that you use no uh, cutting oil on that, still got a pretty good tip on there. There's uh, no signs of chip welding. 
I still got a nice sharp edge. That's getting it done. Well, you want to know what I was going to use this for. And now you've seen it's a nice fabrication tool. It'll pop holes in there pretty quick, even though it's not working like it's supposed to because it doesn't have all the power and everything's not all the deluxe features. And I can still use it as it is. I'm using it to fix itself right now. So I get these pieces on here and then I put these holes in here to even work because they're seven eighths pin. So I have to get some three quarters. As you can see, this doesn't walk around much. This is a three quarter bolt. Got a nice tight hole. If these were shoulder bolts, they'd really be tight in there. Drill fabrication quickie. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch y'all later.